hanging out with one of our winners from K and M on. Let me think. All becoming a blur right now on Friday night. Tim Fuller picked up. Uh, I believe that was win number five. five yeah. Okay. All small box this year. First of all, how we doing? Uh, we Good. doing okay? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people. I see a lot of people dragging in the mid area today. It happens. It happens. Because so, it's not as as quite as all encompassing as Super Dirt Week, but it's, they're still pretty long days, aren't they? Well, they're long days. The biggest thing is just traveling back and forth and, and, and trying to, uh, you know, keep up with everything. Uh, you know, at least at Oswego, um, you're parked in one spot, everything. You just really? roll the car on, you roll it off. You don't strap nothing down. You don't put anything away, Good really. Point. So there's a lot more to it. Uh, and, you know, and then you got to travel. Albany was the worst one, but the rest of them were only a couple hours. How far is Albany from Edwards? Four hours. Okay. And today? Uh, today was three. Oh, three? Yeah. That much? Okay. Yeah. And you stay you staying over just out of curiosity? Yeah, I'll okay. stay over. Okay. So tell me about the win. Uh, good starting position. You know, we were fast and, and, and did good in time trials and, and um, drew two. And that was important. I think that's uh, very key to, you know, you got to start in the top six. I mean, you look at the, the shows that are going on and uh, you better start in the front. Not a lot of passing. And uh, last night it was it was nice to be able to, well, I went back to third and I, I got the lead and um, just had to be where the groove was. Mm -hmm. Was the now when your race was was it rubber down still in three and four yet or was that happening? No, it, it rubbered. It started rubbering in between one and two, and I mentioned that, uh, you know, in, in victory lane, and nothing got done. But whatever, and, and it is what it is, and it just made for a really bad big block race. Okay, so and there's nothing you can do at that point, right? I mean, I saw you I out there for a little bit. Done, you could have done something. I don't know what. No, I you don't, as I, a driver. Oh yeah, I I was on the outside winging it, and then it really locked down on the bottom. Then I started losing a couple of spots, so it was time to get down and and uh, fall in line. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna get what you get. And yeah, so, yeah. So if I'd have stayed out driving. there, I was gonna end up twentieth. Okay. If others had gone out there, could it have gone differently? Like if other people had gone out to that groove you were running? Uh, no. No. No, because the bottom had already rubbered. Oh, okay. All right. So it wasn't. Did no. it start first? Because I heard different things from different people last night. We're talking about K&M, by the way, on Friday night. Some people told me early that they were just kind of throwing loose stuff out there first. So that's kind of why everybody went low. Is that kind of how it Yeah, happened? and it just gets cleaner. So it's a little bit faster just because it's cleaner and not on all that sand and marbles and everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, And then everybody starts running down there. And guess mm -hmm. what's going to happen? It's going to rubber. Okay. And uh, that, that's the nature of the beast. A lot of cars and uh, a lot of racing on it. So, I don't know. That's just one of the things. I, I don't. That will never happen here. But uh, you know, obviously, we got a hundred less cars. But true. Um, it's it's too many cars for a racetrack to handle. Okay. It just is. It's yeah. the way it is. Yeah, we've seen it before. Yeah. You know, and we'll see it again. Yeah. Remember that one year at Super Dirt Week, right? Yes. Uh, over at Oswego. Yes. And uh, but nobody was going to take any hard tires out there and scrub it off. Huh? Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the way they worked a few years ago. So yes. what's up for you after Oktoberfest? Uh, I guess uh, I'm going to run Port Royal in Vic okay. Coffee's car uh, oh. because I don't have a an open engine for that. So uh, okay. Vic asked me a month ago, and uh, uh, Mike McCreska was good with it. So I'm going to go down and run that and run that one race. And uh, and then uh, I, I guess whether Eastern States happens or not in mm -hmm. um, Charlotte. Okay, very good, very good. All right, before we go, uh, we've been having a lot of fun out here this year, by the way, uh, for the TV. Let's see that. Let's see that. Remember our TV smile? Yeah. See, you got to hold yeah. it. So go ahead and hold it. Let's see it. Let's see, there's the picture. You can snap that right there. Yeah. Put that away. So uh, we talking about next year yet? We thinking or no? Uh, probably right about the same thing. Okay. You know, hoping we can cross the border. Um, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's a long ways down here. Don't get me wrong. It's great down here. He pays real money in, in yeah. everything at, at Canandaigua, and he's uh, he's always done good by me. So um, I don't know. I, you okay. know, everything's up in the air. It's way too early to tell. It is, and of course, there's a lot of variables that are still not determined away from all this. Right. So, uh, right. We'll have to see how it goes. So. Right. Good to see you, and uh, had a lot of fun chatting with you this yeah. year. Uh, we we chatted a lot weekly. So what they do, they do live broadcasts, and sometimes like Doug, we need somebody in thirty seconds. And it's like Tim. Yeah. Yeah. So it was yep. a lot of fun to be able to do that. So I thank yeah. you a lot. No for, problem for all your help. Remember, hit the little blue E down in the corner, right about there. Uh, Tim's going to do that when he gets home, and that just lets you know when we're doing something cool. Have fun tonight. Maybe we'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you.